Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now the question is, find the temperature at which the resistance of a wire made of silver will be twice its resistance at 20 degrees Celsius. Take 20 degrees Celsius as the reference temperature and the temperature coefficient of resistance of silver at 20 degrees Celsius is equal to 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 per Kelvin. So the problem is based on the basic concept that the resistance changes with temperature and uh, it can change for metals it changes generally in a manner that when temperature rises then the resistance increases so that particular elements are uh, basically they follow a positive temperature coefficient they show the positive temperature coefficient of resistance it means that the resistance increase when the temperature increase. So this is the particular case. So for this particular problem, for solving this particular problem, we have to use the relationship that RT1 or we can say the RT2 equals to RT1 1 plus alpha delta T. This is the particular formula which is used to solve this particular problem. Now here RT2, RT2 is the resistance at temperature of T1 whereas RT1 is the resistance at temperature T2 sorry this is at T1 and RT2 is at temperature T2 now alpha is known as the positive temperature coefficient of resistance this is the positive temperature coefficient of resistance it is given in this problem as 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 so we have to put the respective values uh, now, in this particular problem, it is said that uh, the resistance uh, basically it will be twice at 20 degrees Celsius. So, we take that, we take T1 as 20 degrees Celsius and T2 as the unknown temperature of this particular problem. Now, the unknown temperature which we have to calculate. Now, it is given that at this particular unknown temperature T2, the resistance become double at the double corresponding to the value at 20 degrees Celsius. So we can say that if we choose RT1 as R, then RT2 equals to 2 times R. It is double the resistance at T1 degrees Celsius. T1 means 20 degrees Celsius. So now putting the respective values, the respective values of for example alpha, alpha is 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 and delta T, delta T is basically T2 minus T1. This is T2 minus T1. Now T1 is 20 degrees Celsius. So after solving it, this R cancels, we get 2 equals to 1 plus 4 into 10 to the power minus 3, T2 minus 20 degrees Celsius. Now this 1 when comes in the left hand side becomes minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 into 1 is equal to 4 into 10 to the power minus 3, T2 minus 20 degrees Celsius. Now cross multiplying it here, we get we get this value as 1 upon 4 into 10 to the power minus 3. 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to T2 minus 20 degrees Celsius. Now 1 upon 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 is 1000 by 4. This is equal to T2 minus 20 degrees Celsius. Now this is 250. Now 250 equals to T2 minus 20 degrees Celsius or we can say that T2 equals to 270 degrees Celsius. So this is the particular value in the degree Celsius, the temperature at which the resistance become doubles uh, with respect to the value at the T1 temperature. Now we can convert it into the Kelvin also for uh, temperature in Kelvin, we have to add 273. So it is 270 plus 273 which is 3 then 7, 4 and this 5, 4, uh, 543 Kelvin. So we can say that the particular unknown temperature in this particular case is 543 degree Kelvin or in the degree Celsius we can say it as 270 degree Celsius. So this is the final answer. So hope you understand the solution. Thank you.